Hi guys, I'm Laura from Cherub's Chalks Interiors. I'm a content creator for Dixie Bell Paint. Join me today as I give this glass cabinet a whole new makeover. This piece was heavily waxed, so I used white spirits along with some wire wool to remove all of the wax to create a good base for the paint. Once all of the wax was removed, I sanded all over to create a great key for the paint to adhere to. I then applied clear boss all over to prime and prevent any stains from bleeding through the paint. I chose Stormy Seas for the outside of the glass cabinet. This is a gorgeous bluey grey. And for the inside, I chose Sawmill Gravy, which is the perfect match for the decoupage paper that I intend to apply to the back of the piece. I chose Distressed Damask Decoupage Rice Paper and Clear Coat in Flat, now I can start applying the decoupage paper to the back of this piece. Firstly, I brush on a layer of clear flat coat. I then position the decoupage paper where I want it, making sure it's nice and flat to the surface with no air bubbles. I will then apply another coat of flat clear coat to seal the decoupage to the piece. And once that is dry, I will come back and seal again with another clear coat. Now it's time to distress all over with a fine grit sandpaper. I then apply Best Dang Wax in clear all over to seal the paintwork. And then I will apply some Best Dang Wax in brown to the edges and corners of the piece to create an aged effect. The piece is now finished. It's time to dress it up, make it look pretty and fill it with all of my favourite things. I hope that you found this video useful and enjoyed joining me along the way. For more videos just like this one, make sure that you've subscribed to Dixie Bell Paint Company's YouTube channel. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.